Hi and welcome to the 8th part in this tutorial series. In this part we will implement a movement in our game by, by touch. So we will basically implement a way that we can touch the screen and our sprite will move. So let's start by using a new sprite, namely this rocket. So drag it over into your resource folder, resource folder. And make sure to Xcode the copy items into the destination group folder is selected. Okay, now, um, so change your image. So, in your uh, unit load method, make sure you load uh, the iOS rocket by changing this line of code to iOS rocket. So, if you so run this now, it should work perfectly and indeed our rocket is loaded and remove then first off uh, change this from cat I have no idea why I named this cat uh, to rocket to player rocket and also then change all of this so the first line will be also player on oh, then a player rocket and this will also be player rocket and this will also be player rocket oh player rocket and then I remove the self.cat.replication line um, also then <coughs> um, the a coordinate I want um, let's just say in the center of our screen and that will be like uh, 320 and do like 200 yeah 200 is fine so it's around in the middle right it failed right it failed systematic ah uh -huh, I see sorry yeah, so make sure in the update and draw methods you use the new player rocket and run it now. And it's right, oh, yeah, there's one problem our rocket is kind of offset to the right. That's because the origin of the sprite is in the bottom left corner of the screen. Oh, yeah, on the sprite, it's not in the middle. So to change that, go to your sprite dot. M file. So to fix this, we have to. Well, actually, um, in your render, in your view controller dot M, uh, take the at the top of the file the define square size eighty, and cut it and paste it into into sprite dot H. So just paste it at the, of the file. And then, so in your sprite.m, well, basically we have to, well, type uh, cell dot. So, uh, so in your in your render method, in the translation function, the second argument, uh, cell dot position dot x at minus square size divided by two, and then also added. To the, the third argument minus square size divided by two. So this way we change the position from relative from the bottom left corner to relative from the middle, because uh, we basically we subtract half of our texture from the width and from the height. So if you run this now, so our rocket is not in the middle and everything is working as it should be now. Let's implement movement into our game. So go to viewcontroller.m and in the unit load method, underneath the chill blend fun function, type UI tab gesture recognizer, name the uh, pointer gesture recognizer equals and the usual, so UI tab gesture recognizer. Alloc init 
and this and this method has two arguments. So the target will be self, action will be at selector, and then name this change no change change location change rocket location yeah. location with a colon. So what this means basically is that uh, the target is the class uh, this this uh, this gesture organizer is uh, is part of so this class the new controller and this the selector so the action is that's basically uh, the method that will be called when uh, when we touch the screen so every time we touch the screen that method will be called and we well, we actually have to create that method. So now, uh, for, and yeah, don't forget we have to add this um, this uh, this gesture recognizer at wherever you so type uh, open brackets so that you add gesture recognizer and just and for the argument our new variable so just recognizer. Then let's create. Uh, this method so we change rocket location so underneath the, the receipt memory warning type void change rocket location and this has one argument namely the ui tab gesture organizer and it's a pointer and name it and yeah with our, and name the argument gesture reco Organizer. Okay, so now to demonstrate this, I'll just create a simple NS log. So, yeah, so just uh, test. And now when we run this, every time we touch the screen, it gets acknowledged and yeah, in a console we see test. So now, um, we have to get uh, so basically we want to make our, uh, our rocket move to the, to the left if we touch the left uh, side of the screen and to the right if we touch the right side of the screen. So um, first of create int x location a new variable integer and name it x location and or I'm not sure name it like yeah just name it x location for now it's a bad name but who cares x location and then do and this equals the gesture recognizer location in view self dot u dot x And we, again, then do ns log just to print this and to see if it's working. So add percent sign uh, percent sign d and um, x location. So now if we run this, we get the location. So it's hundred and goes up to as you can see to well. To, to 320. Okay, then let's implement very simple movement. Uh, so simply self dot player rocket dot location so uh, dot position equals uh, GLK vector to to make um so the while will be 200. If you save this as a macro. And this will be x location multiplied by two. So when you run this, if you press here, a rocket it will move to the new location. Okay. So it's yeah, it's very simple movement, but yeah, it's a simple game. So it's fine. So okay. So. Yeah, that was it for this video, and next video we will 
Yeah, we'll see. Uh, build up the bandits. Maybe shooting. Or yeah, we'll see. You know, say that bye.